all right welcome back to cyberpunk and episode 13. tonight we take on our first cyber psycho It's supposed to be out here somewhere. Seaside Cafe. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Hack them. Botic options. Short circuit. Deals damage. Resets detection progress of enemy. Reduces enemy arc. Overheat. Sets the enemy on fire, dealing damage over time. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Ram cost increased by one. Execute. Beat the attacker. get up there. Damn, so they heal as well. I'm so dead. They absolutely heal. Let's try this again. Where the hell am I? Oh, 
What weapons do I have right now? So, that is... Equipped. Tier 1 Iconic Power Pistol. Let's keep that, I think. Everything else is... Ah, yeah, everything else is uh, worse. Can equip that to make it even better. Uh, let's go back, let's switch this out. So that's better, that's a tier 1. I our pistol thingy. Let's switch that out. Let's go for a light machine gun, assault rifle maybe. Active range, reload, speed. Eighty-five headshot damage, twenty-five armor piercing. Let's do that. She lost her mind. Johnny Silverhead. A lot of corpses. Oh, we can overheat her. Let's do that. Got it. Damn. Search attacker. Yep, yeah, done that. Search the area to collect information. Okay, so how do I search the area?
Read the message. Read the message to die. Uh -huh. There's something. What else do we have? Could have interacted with that. So we've got those two guys. We got something. Read the shard. Message to Deho. Search the area to collect information. Yes. How did we read shards? I was here, wasn't it? Cyber Psycho. Message to Lin Hia. My dearest Lin, I've heard you've been worrying about security at wedding. Well, put it out of your mind. One of the biggest stars. As one of our biggest stars, you know that your comfort and peace of mind is our top priority. I would never ever let your sister ruin your big day. I'll see you to it myself. You have my word. Your safety comes first and that will never change. Even if you lost your looks, your talent never, no matter what. Besides, Daos in a coma and will only wake up once you and Kenny are uh, out sipping watermelon mojitos on the beach. So chin up. And don't worry, or you'll get fine lines. Remember, your skin needs time to recover after the transplant. Your Celine. Message to Dao Hyun. My dear sister, the time of revenge and the white light of frost white chrome and contempt has come. When you wake in the cold fluorescent light, remember how you humiliated me at my wedding, how I became the laughing stock of Night City thanks to you and Mr. Stud Prank. I hope you'll enjoy my revenge as I've chosen the most hideous implants from Jig Jig's nastiest ripper docks to make a few adjustments to your oh so beautiful body and I almost forgot to mention I'm getting married again. My future husband needs to introduce needs no introduction because he's your fi fiance after all and you know him so well. That's right, Kenny. But don't worry about him, I'll, I doubt he'll spot the difference, he's never been too observant that one. I really hope you enjoy the craftsmanship and effort I poured into your new shell. It's the perfect match for the monster inside you and I'm sorry to do this, but you're not welcome at the wedding. I'd hate to scare off all my friends and guests or even Kenny. Uh, I'll be sure to send you some stills taken from outside your favorite restaurants. You can always know what your life might have looked like. Stay strong, sis, and stay away from mirrors. Your favorite sister, Lin Zozo. Hey. Ah, yes, yeah, search the area to collect information. I've done that already. Or is there more information to collect? Maybe. Read the Saigon Sisters season finale script. Scene opens with a close-up on Kenny and Lynn, posing for wedding pictures by a seaside cafe. Sign and logo visible in the background, slight blur, but still legible. Scene. Shot against the sun with a slight glow and lens flare, typical lively wedding music plays in the background, while the wedding guest conversations are a dull roar, punctuated with a loud laugh and cheerful shouts. Sudden change of mood. Sudden change of mood. Uh, the music shifts to something more ominous, while the sound of a motorboat engine roars louder, uh, obviously approaching at high speed. The scene is overcast, the motorboat reaches the shore, camera pan in on the figure on the motorboat, it's a terrifying double of Lynn, borged out and a face contorted in pain and rage, it's Lynn's sister, Dao. Dao angrily confronts her sister, accusing her of putting her into a coma by spiking her wine, then Installing the worst com combat implants in her while she was unconscious, Dao lifts her arm to reveal the implants, the colorful party lights, glint and dance on her chrome forearms. Lin's face turns to stone in terror and the music soars in a dramatic crescendo. 
pulls up a Kenny's confused face, his eyes darting from one sister to another. Dao hurls so hers ugh. Dao hurls herself at her sister, but security steps in at the last moment and they all tumble into the waves. The final scene of the season comes to an end with a loud splash. End scene. Uh, message Regina about cybers. Okay. Holy shit, that last one was hard to find. Because on good news, there's a happy ending to your favorite TV show after all. All psychos are alive and well. Flicking you the deets. Glad she's... Whoa. How do I scroll up on this thing? Oh, X and Z. What? Glad she's alive. Maybe there's a chance she'll start telling apart real life from TV life so we can start helping her. I'm just worried what'll happen when she finally realizes that massacre wasn't fake blood and artificial limbs. Get a lot of this. It wasn't an actual wedding. It was supposed to be an episode for your favorite TV show, Zygon Sisters. Spoilers incoming. The plan was to pit both sisters against each other by chipping one with faulty implants and putting her in a coma. Not from an allergic reaction, but with legit poison. In the meantime, the other sister gets plastic surgery to look like the sister in a coma so she can marry the lottery, the latter's fiance. How whacked is that? Except the coma sister woke up too soon, forgot she was on a TV show, and clearly didn't like her new implants. Fact she made known at the wedding reception with the performance. No one would forget, at least for the ones that managed to escape. First she took care of her sister, then the husband, and finally the whole TV crew. That's when guts really hit shit. Really, uh, really hit the fan. I thought Maelstrom was were fucked up, but Showbiz takes the cake this time. You're right. It's a real. It's a reality TV show. Watson Hoare doesn't even compare. Watson Hoare doesn't even compare. Okay. Wow, that was hard to find. Sometimes I wonder if it's buggy or if I'm just not blind. Because I scanned both of their bodies like six times. Are you okay? Job complete. Now let's find something else to do. Psycho killer, find and one out of 17, yes. So... Uh, discount dock. Working on a construction site has its perks. Breeze on your face, sun on shoulders, no creepy corpo, smell and ta tangible results you can show off to the world. It's good honest work. Of course, Night City's always uh, got a way of fucking things up. Let's do that one. And also, uh, hang on, inventory. 294, 294, 64. I need to pick up ammo somewhere. There's a gun store right there. Weapon shop. Let's go there. What is that? Auto fixer. Terminal. You can purchase a vehicle here. Okay. So let's go buy some ammo. And after that... How do I put the holster weapon? F, okay. That's not where I'm going, apparently. All available units Jesus Christ. How did I get the cops after me this time? Crap, they're coming that way. All units, suspect has evaded patrols. Resume search immediately. Pop up here somewhere. All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Uh, 
Gunstar is the white thing. Okay, so let's follow the white path. To the gun store. Load up with some ammo. And after that, we'll simply try to take out the next psycho. Apparently, it's in here somewhere. What's new in the neighborhood? What's new in the neighborhood? Not much. I'll tell you one thing, though. It's bad biz being next to a precinct. Squad cars blaring sirens all day. Then at night, they drag all the poor bums inside, kicking and screaming. Got any preem iron that's a little unorthodox? Eh, uh, how about the Quasar DR-12? It's an electromagnetic pistol, lightweight, compact, quiet, and lethal. Mm. If you're hungry for a classic, then you'll want to crush it. Recoil on that baby gives you a real pushback. And that finish, hmm, they don't make beauties like that anymore. Uh, if you're looking for something more all-purpose, then maybe the Diane from Kang Tao. Lock-on system's so accurate you can pump lead with your eyes closed. Just wondering what you've got on hand. Sure. Take all the time you need. Okay. Anyway. Handgun ammo. Heavy ammo. Case of handgun ammo. Case of heavy ammo. Shotgun ammo. And sniper ammo. So, let's do 606. Hang on, that says 800. Is that 800 bullets? I select one. Nothing increased. Turn 92. Do I have a revolver? Turn 94. 294 and 64, that's all. Nothing increases. I don't understand. Max ammo reached. I don't have a sniper rifle, so... Where does it say how much ammo I have? Because I thought 294 was the ammo, but... Apparently not. Because it's not shotgun and it's not gonna be sniper ammo. Huh. Weird. If I do inventory now. Yeah, now I have 900. Okay, so it simply didn't uh, update before I paid for it. That's got a bit. Okay, get in. Now, let's go to the Cyber Psycho. How far away was that? That is 2.3 kilometers, that's pretty far. 
Let's do this Cyber Psycho and then let's go and pay off uh, Victor. Oh, we're closing in. We're going down here again. the pistol power pistol damage is less that's tier one that's tier two that is result let's go with this Start with a short circuit. Wasn't that it? do this.
Search the attacker. Search there to collect information. Balancer I could have used. Something close up. Here's a guy. The message. One of my workers went cyber psycho thanks to your fucking exoskeleton. He's out here destroying the whole building while life's work. Either you send a quick response through to dispose of him or I'll have to call the police and hey, I wouldn't want the NCPD on my ass as in question neither of us want to answer, want me to answer. Read the shard doesn't look good. Shards doesn't look good. I gotta say that Mary of yours sure has a hit on her shoulders. She got you here at the last possible moment. Your body is rejecting the implants and no wonder it's not ready for them. They're military grade, you can't use them without the proper training. Christ, you're they're not for civilian use at all. I can give you a script for painkillers, but don't forget the pain is your body's way of warning you. If you ignored it, and keep using that chrome, you could cause permanent damage to your spine. You might be able to take off that exoskeleton now, but if you break your spine, you'll never move on your own again. Search the area for information. What's that? Liberty. Okay, so let's remove the pistol. Let's search the area. Last time there was just bodies to search. Got another body in here though. Got Euro dollars. It's not a door. Yeah, nothing to have. Another guy up here. Take his euro dollars. Are there more people. Ram cost reduced by one. Pizza box. Don't really see any more people. can pick up this guy for some reason. Not sure why. Can I pick up him, but not anyone else? <laughs> Nothing else here. Got a microwave. Got an explosive something. Is there someone in here? Again, what am I looking for? Search the area to collect information. Honestly, I believe I've collected all the information already. Unless there's like someone hiding in a car or something. Forklift. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's a laptop here. Messages, three of them. Hey, or your head will explode. Hey, Joom. Today is your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm Voodoo Boy. Probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hack your co-processor and install a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say or your head goes boom. I think a thousand is a way fair pay to keep your head. If you pay, I uninstall my surprise. If not, I blow up your head. I blow up the head of the person you love the most. And if you tell NCPD, I blow up your head twice. You have two days to pay, and I know you read this because I installed spy cams in your optics. We read it together. This is not a negotiation, so do not reply. Just pay and we'll live. Cut the bullshit. Holler in Tokyo, don't give a shit about your warnings. No restrictions for terms. That's the info we wanted. Let me be plain. You've been in this biz long enough to know it's a rough way to make a living. This job should toughen you up, but instead you keep coming to me looking for shoulder to sob on. And most companies just swap out their workers when they get tired, but not me. Here I try to show you some compassion. I even rounded up some gear for all of you at the decent price, and what do I get in return? Ungrateful lunks like you just think about yourself, your own comfort company be damned, but I bet it's... Thanks to me, you got a decent implant and a low-rate loan to cover them, and I did it for you out of the kindness of your my heart, so you didn't have to waste your time going from bank to bank, filling in forms you can never read. Can't even read. But do I get so much as thank you? Never. And you know, if it weren't for me, blah, 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 blah. Do I actually need to read this? Sorry, wrong button. Sometimes it's escape and sometimes it's something else. Uh, okay, message Regina about CyberSight is Sal Zai Zai thing. Jesus. Managed to take CyberSight alive, though he sure put up a fight. Sending you the deets. Poor guy almost completely spiraled. So, taking them alive is basically fighting them until they're at 1% health. Poor guy almost completely spared out before he even realized what was happening. My my. Now that's some creative management. Seems this developer has no problem creating a wide range of business needs and solutions. I'm sure this his long-standing connections with weapons dealers, the NCPD, and other, sh other shady souls help enormously. And if a certain need isn't great enough, well, there's always the usual solution of arm twisting and kneecapping. Key to success remains flexibility, especially of the mortal sort. Yes, even pneumatic arms can't lift morale in a toxic workplace. 